Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Our Vision Farms. I am doing another update video today. The last video um, about our pastured poultry business that we're starting up was when we finished our two hoop houses. Those are still sitting there. We just gotta re-put the tarps back on it. Today in the mail, we got our Premier One um, fencing. We ended up getting one of their little starter kits. It's a 100 foot poultry um, net and it brings all the bars and all the, the grounds that it needs. And then it also, we opted for the solar powered um, energy box. That way we can have it in the front yard where we have most of the empty space in our grass. Um, and we don't have to worry about extension cords or a battery getting wet or anything like that. Another thing we have completed or started so far is the mealworm colony. I ordered mealworms from somebody on Etsy and they sent me about 25 or 30 of them. And I have just moved them. I transferred them into their permanent home for now. It's just a regular bin that we got at Walmart. And then we cut a hole and we put a screen on it so that the worms can't crawl out of it. Although I don't think they can crawl the height of this but they're in here right now they have all turned into a pupa let me try to find one for you so they went from mealworms and then they shedded their skin and right now they're at a stage called pupas so that's what they look like right now after this they will turn into the black beetle and then the beetles will eventually mate I counted about 20 pupa in here they will mate and lay eggs and then from those eggs we'll get more mealworms um, little mealworm babies in here is just whole wheat bran and oatmeal and then you're supposed to put vegetables and fruits every now and then and this is what they get their water source from but as of right now the pupa are just in like a standstill stage until they turn into the beetle so I don't even think they eat but we do have a couple mealworms still left in here that haven't turned into the pupa so it's always good to to have the little fruits and veggies there for them so we got that started for now, and then as we um, as we get more and more of them, I will have to add more containers. So for now, we're just starting with the one bin because we don't have too many to work with, but as we progress and as we need more worms, I plan on just continuing to line them up. And this provides airflow, and then also I keep this little lid that we cut out right on top so that it can stay dark. And we're keeping it in our outdoor patio so it's warm enough here in Florida for them. Um, if you live in a colder climate then you have to keep them um, somewhere a little bit warmer inside your house. Um, another thing that we have done is cleaned out our whole back patio because I did speak with the, the people that will come inspect us before we open our chicken business. And they did say that we needed a covered area for our chicken butchering and processing and all of that. So we decided to turn our back patio, which is a screened in patio and it has a roof, into our chicken processing area. We already had a deep freezer. We're just cleaning it up, sanding it down a little bit, um, trying to get the rust off of it and repainting so that it looks nicer. Um, we have to get a three compartment sink. We still have to get our chicken plucker. Uh, what else? A chicken scalder and a pot for that. We already have some coolers to work with for butchering day that we can keep the birds in before putting them in the freezer. So this whole patio I have it um, completely cleared out and I got to clean it up a little bit more but we're gonna keep it strictly for the chicken butchering. So so far this is the progress that we have on starting our, our pastured poultry operation. As for the chickens, we're just waiting on sourcing all the ingredients for the feed that we're going to be mixing ourselves. I found one place that will deliver for free. Um, they do like a central pickup location. I could do a video on that as well. It's called Azure, A-Z-U-R-E. It's like a website where you can order bulk feed ingredients and they have most of the ingredients that we need to make our chicken food recipe. So I'm going to be probably ordering from them. We we're trying to work with a local feed store, but um, they became unresponsive and haven't really reached back to me um, the last few messages I left them. So I need to go with a more trustworthy source for my feed ingredients because once I have the chickens here, we need to 
um, have that feed in rotation at all times. So as soon as we get our feed mix ready, all we really have to do is build our chicken waters and buy some containers for the feed. Uh, we just got to set up our fencing and put the tarps on there and order our baby chicks. And that's going to be the beginning of the whole thing. But I wanted to give you guys an update on what we have done so far, which is mainly clean out this room and try to take out all the junk that we had here. Um, we were keeping our dogs in here before and our cats were in and out. So we had to fix little holes in the screen. As you can see here, we still got some little repairs to do just to make sure the inspector doesn't say anything about um, like cross contamination if our pets or maybe like wild mouses and rats and stuff coming in and out of here and contaminating our equipment for the chickens. So we want to make sure to keep all the critters out and um, this is how it's looking so far. I'm excited to show you guys when it is all complete and finished with all of our equipment and everything all organized and set up. But this is what we got done so far. And so I will see you guys in another video with our next update on our chicken pasture raised chicken business that we're starting here in Florida for 2021. I'll see you guys in the next video.